Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good today. So it is the end of the month. January is almost over. But when I tell you, the fuckery has not ceased to amaze me at all. So if you guys do not know, currently on Twitter, Chica is trending. The Barbs are trending. Nicki Minaj is trending. Lotto is trending. There's a bunch of fuckery going on, and I'm here to break it down. So what happened is that last night, basically, Chica took to social media and she wrote, y'all love mid light skin rappers. And so a lot of people's ears perked up like, who the fuck is she talking about? And initially people thought she might have been hitting at Lotto. And um, she came out and said that, you know, no, she's cool with Lotto. You know, Lotto's her rapping cousin that Lotto can actually rap. So then folks was like, oh, okay, bitch. Well, you seems like you're throwing shots at Ice Spice and possibly Nicki Minaj. It was low-key confirmed that she was throwing shots at Ice Spice. And now y'all know Ice Spice is the Barb's new favorite because she recently dropped a line on TikTok on her song where she basically said, if it's up, then it's stuck like Cardi. I F with her, but I'm a Barbie. So once she confirmed that she was a barb child, the bars welcomed her with open arms. If it's up, then it's stuck like Cardi. I fuck with her, but you know that I'm a Bobby. You know they don't like Lotto ever since Lotto caught Nicki Minaj, a super freaky granny, and told her to, you know, basically make way for the, you know, for the young girls in their 20s. You know, she's old. She's old news. You know, Lotto, you know, threw a lot of shade at her a few months ago. So the barbs have been on Lotto's ass ever since. Lotto cannot breathe, honey, without the barbs dragging her. Matter of fact, currently they out here talking about Lotto don't wash her ass and she wears the same panties. This was a whole mess. Let's talk about this real quick, and I'm going to bring you back to Chica. So in the midst of all this drama with Chica, um, the Barb's found two pictures of Lotto wearing the same cheetah skin panties, honey. So they proceeded to say, you know, Lotto, can you not afford underwear? And so, you know, Lotto came on, she replied back to them and she was like, oh, it's the panty police. And so people started just kind of clowning her, making fun of her, saying that she wears the same underwear every day. They were referencing these TikTok videos. Two, make sure you get the draws. Three, fuck out of here. Four. Why am I recording? Brand new pack. Five. I mean, because they, they trying to say I'm dirty at work. The fuck out of here. They say I'm wearing the same drawers. Make sure you get this shit. So after getting drugged by the barbs about her wearing the same panties, um, Lotto then decided to post a video confirming that she, oh my God, shocker. Oh, oh my God, I can't believe this. Oh, she actually owns more than one pair of panties. Oh, you don't say they're not the same pair. Oh my God, there's even a tag on the panties. Oh, wow. Interesting. She's better than me, honey, because I just assumed she had a washer and dryer like me. And I just, you know, I wash my panties, you know what I'm saying? And, and wear them again. I didn't know we were supposed to just throw them away. Y'all must be balling. Remember when Damon Dash used to brag about throwing away his boxers and then he kind of, you know, low-key went broke for a while. I bet you he's wearing the same boxers now. I bet you he washes them boxers once a week. You know, folks ain't trying to be out here just throwing out boxers and panties like that, okay? We in a recession. Anyways, y'all, y'all go ahead and check out what Lotto had to say about the situation. In light of my panty discrepancy yesterday, I decided to give you guys an inside look on my panty drawer um these are all my target um panties that caused such a discrepancy yesterday so um five dollars at target here is the uh here's the the cheetah stash so that's two three 
four, yeah, clean, um, yeah, um, five. Oh, th look, this one has a, a brand new tag on it, so that's cute. Um, that and that's just the clean ones, you know, um, on tour and stuff. We spend a lot of money on that. Mind you, I have a whole separate drawer for all things Savage X Fit. All right, so y'all just heard what Lotto had to say, and basically, you know, she's defending herself. She's showing that she owns more than one pair of cheetah panties. So, again, they are going to keep fucking with this girl because she went at the Nicki Minaj, and the barbs are keeping their damn foot on Lotto's neck. And that's how the barbs are. But with this Chica situation, I think it's low-key getting out of control. She has been trending all day. The barbs have been dragging Chica. So, like I said, she basically confirmed um, that, I, that the shade was kind of at Ice Spice. And Ice Spice don't bother nobody, honey. She just walks around with her curly wig and shakes her ass and, you know, uh, wraps her wraps on TikTok. She don't bother nobody. But, you know, I get what Chica's saying as well. She feels like, you know, a lot of, you know, mediocre rappers, they don't really have rap skills that are up to par, but somehow they're like, you know, they're really big. And as we all know, Chica can write and flow and freestyle. Chica is very multifaceted. She kills it every single time. But unfortunately for her, she's never going to get that mainstream push or appeal. No matter how much money you got or you lack, when that check clear, don't forget your children is still black. And your music has been whack and your views are moving back to a day that trigger niggas because we still hear that whip crack. I'm so one of Nikki's barbs reached out to Chica and they said, signed with love, the Society Against Obesity Foundation. So then she could turn around and posted a picture of Nicki Minaj looking quite plump. I think this was from Essence Festival because that was the outfit a lot of people were talking about thinking she was pregnant. Um, so she posted this like, OK, you're talking about me being fat, but, you know, your queen looks like she's gained a bit of weight. I don't know why she did that, honey. Them barbs lit her up. They have been dragging her all day. They bought her family into it. As we all know, Chica has a sister with Down syndrome. They were going in on the sister and the mama. Chica did reply back to that tweet and say that, you know, basically her sister with Downs is doing fine. She's in college. Um, on top of that, they also ended up exposing, they doxed her. One of the barbs went to her address after they exposed it online. They exposed her phone number. Another barb threatened her. They said, Dear Chica, I hope this finds you well. As soon as you get as soon as I get your address, I'm slitting your throat and removing it from your neck. If your mother's at home, she will also be killed. Sincerely, somebody named Nipples. It does not make any sense. They're like literally threatening this girl. And then one of the barbs actually showed up. Um, her name is Barbie Mood, and she says, pulling up to your apartment right now, run it, Chica. And several barbs have been going by her home, driving by there, posting videos and things like that. So a lot of people are online saying that, you know what, this has gone too far. This is not okay. These fandoms are doing the most. Um, they have been going in on Chica. So I'm going to do is go ahead and post these tweets of People going back and forth with Chica. I'm going to also post the Twitter space that they had yesterday on Chica where the barbs were lighting her up in the Twitter space. So y'all go ahead and check this out. On this fat bitch shaka, let her know not to mess to disrespect the queen of rap, Nicki Minaj. This is where she live at, y'all. I'm gonna pull up on her right now, finding a parking lot. Nicki Minaj, bitch, you so mad in the house trying to post my bitch. What my bitch post your big ass? How the fuck would you feel? Girl, was you on the verge of motherfucking end of your life, bitch, because you were so depressed and sad, bitch? You need to, you need to wake the fuck up, bitch. You, you, I don't know what it is, but you tweeted about some, oh, y'all love, um, y'all love hyping up these light-skinned rappers. So motherfucking what, bitch? So what? If I want to play Ice Spice and shake my ass in the club, I want to play Ice Spice and shake my ass in the club. I ain't never hear a bitch up be like, oh, yo, Nate, put on that new Chica, because that shit is ass, bitch. That shit is whack. That shit is so whack. I had never heard a bitch like playing that new Chica. Because there ain't no motherfucking new Chica, bitch. 
There ain't no new chica to play with. You see, this is my thing. If you want bitches to fuck with you, make good music, bitch. It ain't that hard, bitch. Get a BBL, get some veneers, bitch, and there you go. Ain't that hard. You know the motherfucker. Look, bitch, you want to have a big booty, nice skinny waist, and a motherfucking sexual rap crib. But guess what? You'll never have that, bitch. All you will have is the last two slices of that Papa John pizza in the motherfucking oven and a muddy-ass dog that's over there shit and pissing over the fucking walls and shit, bitch. That's what you always had. It's no way in hell Chica should go to Taco Bell in order for a fucking servant of five family, bitch. You're the only bitch in that household. Bitch, you should not be eating like that. That's, that's, that is abuse to the like, body. Bitch, that is abuse to the, the beauty of the shit you go. Ain't that hard. You know the motherfucking formula, bitch. You keep crying about it, bitch. You know the formula. Why won't you do it, bitch? Answer Chica quickly. Nate, check your DM. Check your DM. What's D? Go ahead, Chica. Big bitch, you can talk now. Go, Go ahead. ahead, bitch. Let I'm, me know I'm why we the mute formula. This, Tell mute this nasty ass, bitch. Let me get this hoe. Wait, can you hear her sister? Hello. 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 Girl, I don't know Chica why she is just so miserable. She got afraid of chicken tenders. You can talk now. Go ahead. Chicken tenders. Can you hear me? All right. So you guys just saw what folks were saying on Twitter. Plus, you guys got a chance to hear what the bars were saying to Chica on Twitter spaces. So, like I said, it has been a mess all day, this whole back and forth. I think sometimes the fandoms do take things way overboard. I don't think it's that serious. I think, you know, at this point in time, you know, she feels like other rappers are getting more opportunities than her. She has the right to feel that way. You know what I'm saying? But like I also stated, I don't see where Ice Spice bothers anybody. Ice Spice basically makes her music and she minds her business. You know, it's the industry that needs to change. We can't blame these girls. You know, everybody's born a certain way. Nobody can help their features and how they're born. So it's not these girls' fault that they're light-skinned and happen to want to be rappers. It's the industry, you know, that only wants to promote a certain type. So until the industry changes, until people are saying we want to see plus size women on stage rapping and you know spitting real bars they're gonna continue to push the girls who are more about beauty than they are about lyrics I mean look at sweetie you know she has some bops but sweetie's definitely not a lyricist she couldn't even sell over 2,000 copies with her four million with her 14 million followers so that says a lot that it hasn't been about music and lyrics for a long time and oddly enough Nicki Minaj has been saying this granted Nicki Minaj is light skin like the rest of them you know she has the body package but Nikki is a real lyricist that's one thing I would never take away from Nikki little Kim raised her Nikki raised these new girls right but one thing about Nikki regardless of what she looked like what her body looked like what her face card looks like like the young folks like to say it was always about lyricism with Nikki and like you know, changing her flow, changing her style. Literally every song, you know, that she's done over the years, she's bodied it. She's killed it. But there is a new crop of girls that's out here where it's not really about lyrics. It's just about having fun. It's just about making a quick two-minute bop or making a song for a dance on TikTok. And so lyricism has definitely tanked in this day and age. It's not about the music anymore. It's really about, you know, popularity, looks, and body. But unfortunately, that's the world that we live in. But, you know, Chica has been having little issues with the barbs for a while. I remember back in October, Sukiana, you know, got into with Chica because she felt like Chica was throwing all these shots at Nikki. And Suki's like, if you have something to say about her, just open your mouth and say it. Don't keep throwing all these shots. You don't like Nikki? Say you don't like Nikki. See, a real bitch? I'm going to tell you the difference between a bitch like that and a real bitch. A real bitch don't hop in no bitch beef. If you been ain't like Nikki, say you ain't like her. Say you don't don't wait to another bitch beefing with her to try to jump in and say a bitch age. And this ain't got shit to do with none of y'all. Bitch, I'm sick of you. Why the fuck you hopping in another bitch beef? Why you ain't get on Nikki ass by yourself? Why you wait till Lotto finally speak up and say something to her? Why you ain't say nothing? Since you a real bitch? Yeah, there's definitely a lot of beef there. But I think at the end of the day... Some of these fandoms need to cool it a bit. It's not that serious. Nobody should be pulling up to this woman's house or sending her threats. You know, it's one thing to have your opinion or to not like her. Keep it on Twitter. Keep it on the Twitter spaces. When you bring it into the real world, now you're putting yourself in a situation where you can catch a case. You know, because if you guys show up at her house, that's trespassing. And y'all don't know, she might be strapped. You know, you're coming to her home. You don't know what might happen. So I would suggest that people not do that. You know, keep all this drama on Twitter and keep it out the streets. It's not that serious. So anyways, y'all, I leave the question to you guys. How do you guys feel about all of this crazy drama that's been going on all day 
with the Barb's and Lotto. A lot of them do not like Lotto anymore. And I really believe that the reason why Ice Spice getting such a big push is because the Barb's. The Barb's are really filling her. So I believe they are helping to push her numbers. Um, the Barb's are very powerful in that way. So when you cross them, they will go in. Trust me. And when they love you, they will support. And I think that's what Ice Spice is getting. And unfortunately for Lotto, she lost all of the Barb support. So they're going to keep dragging her. Literally, you have beef with them. You have beef forever in my Cardi B voice. So like I said, I leave the question up to you guys. What do you guys think about this beef? Are you a team Barb? I know I have some Barbs who actually do, you know, like me. Um, are you team Chica? And then how do you guys feel about the Barbs once again? Talking about Lotto and saying that she doesn't change her panties. Child, you can't make this mess up. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you guys leave a comment. Don't forget to like the video. Feel free to share the video and make sure you are still subscribed to the channel. And I will talk to you guys later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.